number two episode for Cooking with Charlie. The one everybody's been waiting for, this double smoked ham. So all I did so far is I got the, got the ham cross cut. That way the seasoning and the smoke will all get inside that ham through that barrier. And right now, I made a rub for it. I didn't put any ground mustard like most probably would, but I'm just gonna lather it up in mustard. And that way, my seasoning that I made with garlic, Cajun seasoning, celery salt, or seasoned salt, pumpkin spice, and clove. And then that way, I, like, I really like clove on ham, just that good flavor of it. So I added a little more with the pumpkin spices already got it in, but I liked it with it. So all I'm doing is just pouring the seasoning all over it. And I don't care if it's gonna get in the bottom, the extra, because I'm gonna add some liquid to this bottom of this pan and that will help get inside there too and just be just great and I'm doing this ahead of time right now for it to like sit out get this nice in there nice padded in and it's gonna put it in there, just get in there. Shh. you're now <laughs> and now so that'll be that now I'm gonna wash my hands and grab some uh, Grab some chicken broth and throw that in the bottom of it. Uh, can you open this, Mama? Mama? Hello? Let's get that chicken broth. Hello! Did you open it? I had to kind of deform this pan to make it fit, so. Kind of a large, it's about a 12 pound ham. And we're just getting it in there, probably about an inch or two on the bottom. And this will help keep it moist throughout the cook. And that's it for now. So we go out and put it on the grill. So we'll see you soon. Back where I got the ham on the smoker. I got the smoker set to about 250. And I've got a probe in there just to so I can check the uh, check the temp of it. It should get up to about 130 degrees before I want to do anything more with it. So I'm just going to leave it shut, and it's going to grill for about 20 minutes per pound at 250. I'm guessing somewhere close to that. So I'm guessing about 130 will probably be about three hours into the cook, and we'll just going to let it sit and get all that good flavor from it. We got that we got the chicken broth in it to keep it nice and moist. Uh, you could use whatever you want. If you want it a little bit, uh, a little sweeter, you could add like uh, like some brown sugar, some Coke, um, Mountain Dew, whatever you want. I'm going to do a Mountain Dew glaze at some point on this when we want to go glaze it at towards the end. Uh, the, but yeah, anything you want to put in there for, for a moisture barrier to keep it nice and moist so it doesn't get too dried out, that's all you're going to want in there. So we'll see you back in a little while. Folks, we got... Uh, <laughs> figured we'd probably show you the side dish we're gonna make today we're gonna make some smoked scalloped potatoes so right now I've got in my pan is uh, some melted butter and I've got about two and a half three tablespoons of melted butter in there and then I just added two tablespoons of flour so right now I'm making my roux and the good trick to making a roux is figure out how much liquid you're gonna add so you're gonna add about I'm gonna add about two cups of cream so I wanted about two tablespoons of butter and two tablespoons of flour. So for every cup you're going to add, add that, add that in tablespoons. And then what I'm going to do is one thing key trick to making a roux is melt your butter, get your flour in there, and let your flour cook. If you don't let the flour cook, you'll have it taste like flour. <laughs> Where this will taste more like now that it's going to be cooked up for about two, three, four minutes, that'll make it taste more buttery and not, not like a dough, basically an uncooked dough. So we got that stirring up. I'm going to add in some onions just because you know, I love onions. So we're throwing the onions. Now I let that cook up a little bit just to kind of get them hot. Sorry if we're doing this like doing this one hand and my camera crew ditched me for the afternoon. So we're getting that sweating down. Just getting the onions just a little bit. They're gonna cook down anyway in the in the while the while the potatoes are cooking through the whole process. 
And now we're adding our two cups of milk, or actually heavy cream. We're gonna let this cook and get all incorporated in there, get it nice and bubbly. You want this to come to just a little bit of a boil, it's gotta be hot. You don't want to start adding cheese to this yet because it's not hot. If you, it's got to be. It will be the cheese will be gritty. The sauce will come out gritty. So the hotter it is, with like a little bit of a rolling boil, not not too hot, but a nice little steam on it, will give you a nice creamy sauce. So all that's mixed up. It's gonna cook up. It's gonna boil up a little bit, and. We'll get back to you when it's ready for the cheese. All right, folks, we're back. Look at this. Just starting to simmer up on the outside. I already added some sea salt. I'm gonna add some pepper. And I'm gonna add some garlic. And I like to add just a little bit of Cajun just to give it a little something extra. And I'm gonna stir that up. Sorry about the camera, guys. Now, I'm gonna start adding some cheese. I've got about two cups of cheese here, about shredded jack cheddar, and I am gonna just add a little bit at a time to make sure that that gets nice and melted in. You don't want it to get too gritty. If you add it all in, it'll be a gritty sauce. By adding it slowly, you're gonna get it to be nice and creamy. Alright, we're almost there. Just a little more cheese. And this is starting to get pretty thick. So I'm probably going to add just a little bit more cream to this. That way it'll be a little bit thinner because it's going to really cook up in the smoker itself and get thicker in there. So we'll thin that out. Ooh. All right, now we're going to take this over. Where we got the pan for the for the potatoes. We're gonna add a little bit of sauce to the bottom of our pan. That way our pan doesn't our potatoes won't stick and nothing sticks to it. So that's what we're looking at. So this is what we're looking at now. Just a little bit in the bottom of the pan. It's almost kind of like greasing up the pan. Then we're going to add our potatoes and we're going to layer them. Get them all nice layered up. Now we've got the first layer in there, and we're just going to add a little bit of this sauce all over the top of it. And now, another layer of potato. And we'll keep doing this till our potato or pan fill up. Now we've got all the potatoes in there. We did two layers. So we had just enough potatoes to do two layers. And we poured on the rest of the sauce. Trying to get it all covered over every inch of these potatoes. Come on nice and tight. Smoothed out. And ready to go. All right. Now we're gonna take on another about pound and a half to two, another cup or two of some shredded cheese. 
Add two if you like it cheesy, less if you don't want it too much. And that's about it. Now we get to go out to the smoker where it's been snowing all afternoon. Say hi. <laughs> It is very wet, cold, snowy on this perfect Easter afternoon. <laughs> Trying to get some flip flops on because we've got about seven feet of snow out here now. Look at that ham. That's about halfway through. We're just going to turn it to the side to make room for our potatoes. These are going to take about two hours to make at 250. If you cook them in your stove or oven, it'd probably take you about about an hour and a half at 350. So we're just going to add a little bit longer to it. The ham right now is at 109 degrees. So we need about 20 more degrees to go before we can start adding our glaze to it. All right, we'll be back on ready to do the glaze. Glaze. I already put in some brown sugar and now I've got my little whisk to whisk it all up. I'm going to throw in some Mountain Dew. I've got about about a half a cup of brown sugar in the little pot and I've added about a half a can of Mountain Dew and all I'm doing is stirring it up right now. And then I'm going to add about a quarter cup of honey just to give it a nice glaze a little shine on the glaze and then pumpkin pie spice again and that's going to come up to just a little bit of a simmer we're going to try to get the sugar dissolved get that spice in there Shouldn't take too long to get this to simmer up. And the sugar dissolved. And it looks and looking pretty good. Looks like the sugar's pretty much dissolved. The honey's in there. Smelling pretty good. Smelling like ham already. Alright, let's take our bra, basting brush and a pot out to the smoker and right now the ham's at about 130 degrees so we're gonna end up doing this about probably about two three times we'll end up adding this glaze to it so all we're doing is just brushing it on there nice and easy to get our glaze and you can see the potatoes are starting to come in they're getting a little nice and melted on there and once this ham's done I'm gonna end up taking the ham off and I'll raise the smoker up to about 350 and then we're gonna get a little nice golden brown on that cheese all right have fun ham off the grill it sat for about a half an hour out here we finished the potatoes as you can see it got a little nice and golden brown there so those are ready and now we're just going to slice into this nice delicious ham. Look at that just coming on, just melting like butter. Oh, look at that, huh? That's got a nice little shine to it. Let's just cut off a little piece here. Mmm, oh, that is good. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this second episode. Try your own ham and have a good happy Easter.